Hi, in this video I'll talk about the SI units for current which is ampere. Ampere is defined indirectly as that current which causes a certain force of attraction between magnetic fields. To understand that let's look at this image. So we will make a current flow through that red wire and to do that we'll connect a battery. Uh, the positive terminal uh, is connected to the first blue post and the negative terminal is connected through a blue wire to the blue post at the far end. So the circuit is completed. And we'll plug in a right hand thumb rule where the thumb is pointing the direction of the current and the bent fingers are pointing the direction of the magnetic field. So the green arrows represent the direction of the magnetic field at any point on those several circles that are set up when the current flows. So many of these uh, circular magnetic fields um, are um, concentric in nature and they do not intersect. In the right hand side, please note that the green arrow is pointing downwards because it's a clockwise direction. Now we take a second wire on the right hand side and we connect another battery and we pass the current in the same direction as that of the first wire. So the current in both the batteries and both the wires is such that it is going into the plane of the paper. So the clockwise direction of the magnetic field set up on the second wire is shown in terms of pink arrows. Of course, there would be infinite such magnetic uh, lines of force on the second wire throughout the length of the second wire as well. In the central zone, you can notice that the green arrow of the first magnetic field is pointing downwards and the pink arrow for the second magnetic field is pointing upwards. Just like a north and south pole attract each other, now the two magnetic fields attract each other. The wires are attracted towards each other with a force. If this force is 2 by 10 to the power 7 newtons, which is a very small force, the distance between the wires being exactly 1 meter, then the current flowing through both the wires is equal to 1 ampere. This is how an ampere is defined. I hope this video was useful to you. Thanks and have a great day.